All right, bro. I'll talk to you later. All right, catch you then. Peace out. What's up, bro? <sighs> Dude, how long have you been there? You can't just sneak up on me like that. Well, you know it's Tuesday, right? Yeah, I know it's Tuesday. Why? Well, you got some people here for you. <gasps> oh, my God. God, I'm yo. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't even see you guys there. I completely forgot I had to do tutorial today. This guy, he sucks so bad. Bro, I don't need your input right now. Yo, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I'm already running so short on time, but so today you can clearly see that it, the tutorial is gonna be about how to clone yourself in iMovie because this guy's not real at all. Who would want him around in their life? What? What are you talking about, bro? Yeah, bro, you suck. Um, so uh, just give me like five minutes to set up, and then we'll get right into it. Right? I promise. Okay. All right, sweet. <laughs> All right, that was actually not only cringy, but to me like probably 50 times just to get that right. And then I still messed up. Anyway, what is up guys? As you saw, we are gonna be covering how to clone yourself in iMovie today, but the principle is the same thing as in Premiere if you wanna do it there. So the first thing that you're gonna need most importantly is a tripod. If you don't have one, just try to put your camera or whatever you're using to record in in a stable spot so that way it doesn't move at all because you're gonna to need to record one frame with you in one position and then record another video with you in another position. And the camera can't move in between these two shots. Otherwise, you're gonna get like some weird looks or your, your room's gonna be like, tilted or something like that in the two videos and it's not going to match up when you go to put them together. Second thing you're going to want to make sure that you do with this is try to time your reactions and stuff like that. Usually for this, if I'm doing it, I'll I'll make one of my characters have headphones in or something and have recorded the first audio I've said into uh, a microphone or something. And I'll, I'll listen to what the actor said in the first video. So when I'm recording the second video, I can just have my reactions on time. It makes it a lot easier than trying to think and remember what you said and how much time was in between that because you're gonna end up having to practice a lot more and trying to get it down a lot more. And it's just way easier to record something and kind of listen to it. Um, finally, the third thing you have to do is just splice the two clip, the clips that you have together. So we're just gonna jump right into iMovie right now and get going on that. So once you have iMovie opened up and you have your files imported, you're just gonna come and drag them into your timeline. I'm gonna drag the first one that I have here and then zoom out using this little thing right here. And then I'll bring the other one in. All right, so once you have both clips imported and add to iMovie, what you're gonna wanna do is find the points where your clips start, or you want the dialogue to start between the two characters and match them up because you're gonna be putting the videos one on top of each other so that way they're playing at the same time. All right, so what you're gonna do now is find the space in the video where you start talking in the in their first video and mark that. I found it right here, there's this space, and then my other character's supposed to be talking and I have reaction, so mark that space and then you're going to take your second clip and bring it and overlay it over top of the first one. What we're going to do to complete this effect now is just come up to here where it says video overlay settings and double click on this little box thing here and then come down to the option drop down menu where it says cutaway and make sure it says green slash blue screen and then you're going to have these lines and you're going to come up to this corner where it has this little dot where you can drag it and just drag it over to the right right here. So you can see the first video like that. Now, if you can see, you got both videos playing on the screen at the same time. And if you play it back, now you see that the effect is happening and I just have to let it play through because it's already synced up and it should be fine. There's just a couple things I have to point out for mistakes that can happen, especially in iMovie since you don't have all the editing abilities that you might have in something like Premiere Pro. The first thing is that I made a mistake here when recording, I must've hit the camera or something a little bit because you can see that when the video starts, it shifts a little bit from the left to the right. And since I can't, since if I was in Premiere or iMovie, if I was in Premiere or something, I'd be able to change the scale of the videos a little bit and move them around so they look more similar, which is what I did to fix this problem. But in iMovie, you really can't do that. So it's, like I said, it's important to make sure when you record on your tripod, you do this, the two scenes consecutively and you don't move the camera or anything in between so that way it's as accurate as possible and there's no like glitches or anything like this. The second thing is a lighting issue. Now I don't really have this issue in here. It's mostly because I moved my camera is what my issue is but uh, you might notice that there's like this small little line where there's a little bit of discoloration in your videos. That's because the lighting is not going to be exactly the same in both so you might have to go in and use something like color correction or something like that to manually uh, adjust the sliders to make it look 
more like the clips like the one on the left looks a little bit warmer than the one on the right so I want to make this one like I'll bring this slider over here a little bit to the right maybe just a little bit just to match it up or just make sure that the coloring and the lighting is adjusted as well as you can so maybe like adjust the brightness and stuff all in color correction you can adjust the brightness in the shadows or the lights and stuff but I don't want to cover everything on color correction right now I have a whole video on that so if you want to learn more about that check it out I'll leave the link in the description below all right so hopefully you guys understood all that it's not too complicated and if you do have any questions you can make sure to leave them in the comments down below but I think you guys will get a good use out of this. I was asked to make this one a little while ago when I showed you guys the other green screen tips. So I think you'll have some fun with this. I definitely have used this a lot in the past and it's a handy tool. So, you know, get creative with it, do whatever you want. The more you practice with it, the more you can do some cool things. Um, one trick that you can do, I know, is if you, you record yourself in the mirror and you get the angle just right you can splice the two clips together to make it look like you're talking to your reflection that's a pretty cool trick you guys might want to try out so you know just have fun with this experiment as much as you want and you'll get the hang of it and then you'll get to see what you can do with it and what you can't do and then you'll figure out other ways to, to do this stuff or how to make it fun but that's going to be it for me today guys that's all i have to share with you so as always like this video if you did like it make sure to subscribe to this channel Hit the notification little icon, the bell. Just make sure you guys always get notified when I make new videos. And until next time, guys, I'll see you then. All right, peace out.